All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to some more Alan Wake 2. Today we are doing Room 665 and Old Gods. So uh, the Room 665 will be with Alan and Old Gods is the other chapter we're doing Saga. We'll be completing both of those chapters, I think, in this video at least. Uh, but thank you for all the support on this series. The last episode was one of the um, craziest episodes I've done in a video game. And honestly, one of my favorite episodes I've done with the We Sing chapter was basically Alan Wake the musical there for a while. And I thought that was so out there and unique. It was such an interesting mission to have in a video game. Um, but yeah, we're back and we are ready to continue on with room 665. We did the first uh, little bit of this chapter yesterday and we're going to continue it on now. So we've come to the hotel. Um, if you missed the last part, would highly recommend checking it out. So the goals that I have, we'll just look at the plot board real quick in the safe place here. But uh, the goals that I have are find the murder site at the hotel and find the site of the pre-show ritual. I think pretty much the same thing. Hey guys, how you doing? All right, room 111 is open here. Let's have a look at this. Room 111. Hello. Anything over here? Oh, yep. Suitcase. Is that shotgun ammo? Yeah, it is. Damn right it is, baby. Let's go. We're going to need those shotgun bullets. There's a bathtub here. Nice. And the toolbox. What's in the toolbox? Some batteries. Some ammo. Nice. Worth coming into room 111 for sure. We go into any of these rooms? The final the scene. The room at the end of the corridor was oh. closed off. It felt significant. Something terrible would happen there. Okay. Something terrible would happen there. Final scene. Put the pre-show ritual on there. Okay. What does that do? Oh. The prop room had been changed from room 104 to room 225. Okay. So we got the, the troop key? were busy building their own wicker man, where they themselves would be sacrificed. But we got the key for room 104. So that kind of fucks us, right? The hell is that symbol there? That's 107, okay. Is 104 Alan down Wake. this way? Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. What's up, baby? Here's 104. <laughs> Fucking, why did you. Why did it. You what the hell's me. happening? Bro, what just happened? Why is it like fucking locking onto the to the side of him? Did you guys see that? It like locked onto the side of him or some shit. That was so weird to me. Bro, get out of here. Like what's happening? It's not locking on properly. What the fuck's going on here? You guys noticing that or am I tripping balls here? What the hell's going on? Usually when you press R1 it like locks onto them. But now I was pressing it and it was like locking on to, to objects instead of the actual people there. That was so strange. All right. That's a little weird, but... Aw, oh, it's something different now. That's bullshit. I wanted my shotgun ammo. You bastards. I didn't realize there would be different stuff every time. There are not going to be batteries here? No, it's the same... Oh, no, shotgun ammo here now instead. Perfect. <laughs> All right. But I wanted the handgun ammo too. Something terrible would happen here. Pre-show ritual final scene in preparation of the horror show. I mean, I think maybe we can switch those ba between each other now is what's going to happen. The room had been changed from room 104 to room 225. The troop were busy building their own wicker man where they themselves would be sacrificed. Indeed. Okay, there we go. Now it's working. Holy shit, that was terrifying. Reload the gun, Alan. Don't fuck around now. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, shit is right, Alan! Alan! Why are they so fast, man? Jesus. Alright, everybody stay calm, alright? Let's just stay calm. So here's room 104. You can get in now. Room 104 key, of course. What's in here? Anything necessary? Let's close the door behind us. Don't really want to be in here. Inventory full? Oh, flares. Okay, our inventory is full. Alright, what now? Feels like there's nought in here, to be honest. Alright, let's save the game. 
everything I have reloaded. I should probably use this med kit. I can pick up that flare then as well if I need to. That med kit's probably handy to have, but whatever. All right, so this brings us in here, but then this brings us where? Back out. Oh, there's room 225. Okay, awesome. Alan Wake. Yes, I'm Alan Wake. Time to die, sir. Fucking Christ almighty, man. Why are these guys so fast? Please stop being so fast. Oh, no, another one. Stop this. Stop this. Why is there so many of them, man? Come on, fat boy. I'm nearly out of batteries here as well, you know. Why is there so many, man? It's also telling me I can go in here. There's stuff in here? Some some important, yes, some ammo and batteries. I hope that's Oh, there's a Night Springs commercial too. A special place, a shifting space. Existing in a countless number of parallel realities. That's blocked off, mate. Sometimes a quaint small Oh. What's the point of coming in there? Gotta be something in here, right? Trying to listen to that commercial too, but... Is there really nothing in here? Like they brought me in here for nothing? Heartbreaking, nail-biting, absurd, and thrilling. Sometimes all of these things at once. A haunting new season of mind-bending episodes written by Alan Wake. I am your host. Orland Dor, and I will see you soon in Night Spring. Okay. Cool. I'm just thinking there's got to be something back here. I'm missing something, clearly. Anything in the bath? Nothing in the mirror? Nothing on the walls? Nothing in the toilet? Maybe, like, when we change the scene, there's something in here, potentially, you know? Like, that could be it. That could be what it is. So let's go into room 225 first. Figure this whole sh shebang out. The briefcase. Ooh. Grenades? What is that? Can't even tell you what that is. Is that some sort of other ammo? I wish I, I could, like, see what it is. Signal flare. Oh, it's a flare. Okay. Oh, is it flare ammo? Because if it's flare ammo, I need that shit. <laughs> like, if that's what it is, I'm going to drop the actual flare for it. All right, now we can pick that up. Is that what it is? Yes, it is. Okay, awesome. We got flare ammo, baby! Can pick up the flare now that I've reloaded the gun, too. But it's telling me to go back out now and go right. Yes. Wait, was it room 223 or was it 225? I feel like it was 225, but I could be wrong. Let me have a look here. Let's just check down along and see. Because that's room 225, actually. Oh, I can change something here. Okay. What does that do for us? Hello? Does that do anything for us, I wonder? Did it bring us this door? Rehearsal room. This is where Here we go. Before the play. Okay. This is where it began. This is where it began. Okay. Rehearsal room. Pre-show ritual is still the only thing we have for this. So is it going to be all the same? Not in the vision. Oh no shit! Idea. Okay. Hmm. Why set up a play in a hotel? Why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap? No. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted. Dark stories about murder, death, suicide. 
Supposedly, an actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom. Did we summon the same thing? Tapped into something horrifying? It, it seemed like it was part of the play, but it wasn't. Does that sound crazy? Yes. You don't want to ask me about crazy, kid. A haunted hotel. Okay, yes. new plot element. It's a trope for a reason. Okay, interesting. So we can change this now to haunted. Change all of them to haunted. Okay, let's see. The play was a ritual. Oh. This is pretty sadistic. It does open this up here. So that we can get out. All right, then. Wait. Come on, fat boy, you're dead. You're done, son. All right. 227, ballroom. Bada bing, bada boom. Stay back, beast. You stay back too, beast. I hate this. I hate this so much. This guy's chasing me down, man. I don't know what to do. Can I change the elements from here? Yeah, I can, actually. Final scene. Haunted. Changing a plot element in a scene without being okay, there Okay, yeah, you have to be there. It's the entrance hall. Let's change this to haunted. Let's see what's going on. See the differences. I changed okay. the story. And with that, the dark place changed. How much did it change is the question. Is this the scene that's important to change? Is it a scene that I should have changed at all? These are the questions that need to be asked. I don't think this has done anything for us. Back the way out. Okay. I think this one is maybe sp supposed to stay as a... Like, let's see. I think this one is maybe supposed to stay as pre-ritual. And then the rehearsal room is haunted. And the final scene, which was just down the... Down the hall down here, right? Final scene. Haunted. The darkness emerged. Okay. Th did that do anything? It really did jack shit, huh? Room 108 there. Okay. We have to get to that somehow? <laughs> Bitch, what up, baby? There's a ballroom here. Okay. We haven't seen this before. Oh, okay. This is a new area. A ballroom. The would be the stage of a key scene in the play. Okay. What's that key for? Room 101 key. Interesting. Okay. A room 101 key. All right, ballroom. Anything in here before I switch it? To haunt it? Because I have a feeling this one is going to be haunted as well, is it? Try and switch it at least. We'll just make sure there's nothing here. Double check. I don't think there's anything here at all unless I switch it. So let's change this to haunted. Or actually, I can change it to pre-show ritual as well. We can do both. Okay, so this one didn't have any any yet. The pre-show ritual would have it set up like this. Got the deer mask. We got the play schedule. Remember, hit your marks. Keep your masks on. Okay. Rehearsal in room 219. Move to room 202. And this one says, hit your marks, keep your masks on, and make it weird. So move to room 202. Okay. Room 202 for rehearsals. We already know where the rehearsal thing is anyway, right? I think we figured that one out already. Now let's try the haunted one. Let's see if this is uh, something better. Oh. Don't like that. Is this the murder site? It's getting real, all right. Oh, is there something? I recognize ah, my yes. writer's room on the stage. Words of stuff found. The words of stuff. All right, this is my writer room. What was that you got here? 
they sent you out here? What was the scene in this room? A murder? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. I got a big time celebrity to play him, and he was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. Mm -hmm. And who was this mystery celebrity? Let me guess, Alan Wake? I wish I could tell you, but turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was, shit got weird when he was around. Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Mm, Mr. Scratch is the devil. He was born to play the role. I had to agree with Casey on that. New plot element, the devil. Look at them coming at me. <gasps> Bro, switch that fucking element immediately. Fuck, fuck, shit. Get the fucking flare out. How do I get my inventory? Get that flare out. Equip. Back. Stay back. Stay back, beasts. Come on, baby. Is that all you got? Fucking what the shit. What am I supposed to do here? Nice dodge! Come on! You're done, son. Nice dodge. Fucking hell! God damn it! I dodged once and he hit me straight away again. God almighty, there was like 12 of them, man. I thought the flare was gonna save me, but it really only kind of took away their, their darkness. You still have to kill them. God, they came at me so quickly. I thought I maybe could switch the sw the scene quickly before they were came at me, but nay. Hey, they were all over me like a rash. Okay. All good, though. We know what to do now. A ballroom is supposed to be haunted. Uh, it doesn't let me until I kill these guys, I think. Come on, you sons of bitches. What's up, baby? Come at me. See what happens. What's up, baby boys? Oh, shit. Did not think that was going to end the fucking thing. Flashbang. Fuck it. Sick. That was dope. Dude, this is so difficult, man. There's so many of them. Jesus Christ. Like, there's actually genuinely hundreds of them. Yes, I can. And I will. Son of a bitch. Come on. Come at me, you pussy. Come on! Got them all. Oh my god, dude. That was actually genuinely very difficult. Alright, let's heal up. And let's set the scene now. It'll actually let me, I think. Oh, didn't mean to do that. We're on draft two now, of course. <laughs> the devil! The devil does what he does. Oh my goodness. This is the murder side, surely. Don't tell me I have to kill all these guys as well now. God, man, I'm getting out of here. This is creeping me out big time. Giving me bad vibes, brother. Oh shit, is it breaker? I didn't have the key. What's the key? 209? Shit. I need the key for room 209, man. How do I get it? Room 209 key, man. Come on, give it to me. What the hell's in here? Did we find it? Tell me. Yes, there we go. Room 209 key. Nice. There we go. Breaker, my man. What's up, butter? Butter? How's the memory doing? Sorry, who are you? Kidding. Good to see you, Tim. <laughs> you had me going. Good one, Alan. <laughs> We're not in a life or death situation here or anything. How you doing, pal? Cozy place you got here. You know, your disappearance from Bright Falls is still the only thing that folks talk about. Well, that and Deerfest. Is this where you ended up back in 2010? You know about that? I am the sheriff of Bright Falls. Or I was. Are you related to Sarah Breaker? 
She was the sheriff of Bright Falls back in 2010. Yeah, she's my cousin. I had a police sketch made of Dor based on my dreams. I sent it around and Sarah recognized the face from an old case file from the 80s. I moved out there to look into it and became sheriff after she left to join the feds. So Deerfest is still a thing? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's bigger than ever. You know, I got zapped here right before it was about to happen. Funny, me too. What was in the case file about Dor? Not a lot of details in it. A local man named Warland Dor went missing near Cauldron Lake. Eyewitnesses claim he was struck by a bolt of lightning and just vanished. I never found any official records of a Warland Dor living in town or anywhere. Another dead end. Still says the red-haired woman on here. That's that's really giving me hope. That we're gonna see Jesse in this game potentially. Door went missing in 1988. Age has not age. Longevity, not human. Alien magic. Uncle Frank would have known more, but he is dead. Not his real name, hidden meaning. I was at the morgue, I was about to give Yeah, we know about that. New York, not NYC, away to other place, and Nexus. Yeah, we've already read all this, to be fair. Red-headed woman. Alright, is that all we uh all we have to talk about, Door? Am I out of here now, pal? What's going on? Alright. See you later, Breaker. It's been real, brother. I guess I'm supposed to go back to the other scenes now. Leave me alone, man. What did that TV... Can I not watch that TV? There was something on there, right? I was scared that I was about to get attacked, though. But I think I might have cancelled it. We can watch it later when we're safe, anyway, in the... In the plot board room, I assume. The newspaper there. I can't even look at it, though. Okay. There's just blood all the way down here. Thirty the whole way down. Reserved for rehearsals. Two o two, room two o two. Yada yada. Here's the rehearsal room. Let's try the devil on the rehearsal room. The devil. Oh, hello. I can't move. I'm scared. Okay. We got more dead people. Of course. But this doesn't really give us anything new, it looks like. Oh, wait, it does. I just saw something there. This was not the ritual murder site I was looking for. This had just been an appetizer before the main course. Okay. Well, this isn't the one we're looking for, then. Over nine hours played now. I feel like I've played a little more than that. Well, uh, my game clock says I've played over ten on the... I think it says I've played eleven. But that could just be... Like actual in-game time, not looking at menus, you know? Leave me alone, pal. All right, this is definitely got to be... Oh, he's coming after me. Jesus Christ. Quick, switch it to the devil. Get back. Yeah, this is open now. All right, finally. We're getting places now. Please do not disturb. Room 108. How do I get in? Oh, I can change it back now, maybe. So if I change it back to pre-show ritual now? Oh, it put me behind. It immediately immediately put me behind, okay. Interesting. I thought it was gonna, like... Let me go through, right? And then... Get away. All right, let's set this one to the devil. This is the only one we haven't checked. This has got to be it. This has got to be it, man. Oh. What the fuck? Get inside here. Jesus Christ, man. Hop off my dick, bro. Smart. <laughs> oh wait, does he go back into? He goes back into shadow form. Let's go upstairs. All right, so this definitely wasn't here beforehand. This has got to be where where it's leading us to. The murder site upstairs. I don't have much ammo left, so it's problematic. Two flares, and a flashbang. 
God, there's a there's a lot of stairs here, man. Into the new idea here. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, I've got to find a way to actually look at that idea though. Eventually, I don't think we can from here, though. Can we? Unless it. Oh yeah, down here. Okay. I am stupid. Mr. Scratch, if that's who the actor playing the devil was, had stayed in the hotel. Asking around at reception and got me a room number. Hmm. 666. Of course. He had requested that room, specifically. The devil had a sense of humor. Or he really didn't. It was funny either way. According to the director, the actor hadn't mingled with the rest of the cast. He had only come out for the play. And always in character. Okay. Room 663 six, 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 and 644. Four. We'll check out first, because that could be... it get us something useful, potentially. Some ammo, stuff like that. And then we'll go to the actual room 666. Six, six. There it is. Oh Jesus Christ! I don't want. I don't even want to go in there. See you later, guys. It's been real. It's been fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can actually go into any other rooms. They're all locked. Okay. Well, good to know. Good to check them first. You just never know, eh? Room six six six. Here we go. Where's room six six five, eh? Actually, where is room 665? 664? 663? So 665 has got to be on this side? 668? 669? So there is no 665. Huh. Unless it's down in here somewhere. That's why this chapter is called room 665. Scratch had been here. I could sense his presence lingering in the room. I was about to have another killer idea. Oh. Okay. Let's talk about the okay. Let's talk about the murder victim. The lady who was killed in the climax of the play. The leading lady. Wait, did I I stopped the scene? Oops. The murder victim. The lady who was killed in the climax of the play. The leading lady. Oh, it was an honor to get to work with her. A grand dame for sure. She went back a long time. Kept insisting she had seen the long lost original script of the play. She'd been with this mysterious writer, his muse. That was her role in the play. The muse. She was staying in room 108, where the murder happened. The set of the final scene, right. The devil comes, an unstoppable force crashing through the hotel through each scene, executed with devastating mastery. And all leading up to him, meeting his muse. It turns out he knew her. He had only joined the play to get to her. To murder her. Not you again. I'm at shit. Bro, what? Run, Alan, please. I don't know what to do. Hello? Get away! Get away! Oh, uh, fucking, where do I go? Back? Did we? The dark presence had come for me. Drawn to the story I was writing as it grew darker. All right. The muse was the murder victim. The final scene to place in room one hundred. Six 
son of a bitch. You lost the block. Fuck. Bro, are you stupid or what, Alan? Genuinely, are you fucking brain dead or what? Sometimes I actually think he is brain dead. Jesus Christ, man. Heal! Alright. Jesus Lord. Now, we're in the main hall. Let's change this to... The climax! The plot changed the details of the world. I needed to find the muse, the murder victim, room 108. 108, how do I start this scene though? There we go. Jesus, I have to get close to it. Freaking gumshoe dick asking too many freaking questions. Not letting us proper police take care of it. Proper police. This is our chance to make the powers that be happy. We'll be set for life. Part of the These two, inner man. circle. Well, amen to that, partner. I like it. And so the fraternity, the club, the word, our dear friends with many names. The way I see it, it was a lone nut job. A junkie out of his mind on some fancy new designer drug. Open and shut case. All we gotta do now is dump the evidence from room 108 in the usual place in the alley. Oh. The usual place in the alley. Interesting. Okay. Well, we know to go to room 108. Wake. On 11. There's 108. But how do I get there? Oh yeah, I set the set the new scene, of course. There we go. The final scene, the climax. Of course, that makes sense to have the climax as the final scene. I don't like this though. Not one bit. Okay, that was creepy as hell. Beware of the drowned lady. That the lady they drowned before? Oh, well, they, they didn't drown her, they threw her in the well, right? What the hell was that? Some sort of CD? Lost on the shore between the forest and the ocean, the owl and the deer reflected in the motion. In his room, he will hurt her. In hers, he is caught. His story ends, her story does not. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Okay. Lost on the shore between the forest and the ocean, Owl and the deer reflected in motion. This was the murder site. There was a record at the bottom of the bathtub, beneath the body. Another step. Somehow, I was closer to home. Closer than ever before. It's Saga. It's again. The FBI agent. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wait. Are we all right? still trapped? We have the clicker. We can figure the limit. You know about the clicker. It can help us. I destroyed the dark presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find it. I did. I can get it to you. I have to understand. Did you write the story? Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find Return. I need to get back to my apartment. I'm writing a story to get through. Initiation. It's the only way. It's a story. You can do that. You can write out. It lasted only for a moment, like two planets passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me, helping me go deeper, closer to escape. Somehow, I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. Back. I had to get back to my apartment, my study. I had to find the manuscript of return. Okay. End of chapter. 
There we go. End of part. All right. That was incredible. Room 665 has been completed. That was a fun one. That was a really interesting one. It was a lot of puzzles and kind of working things out with the scenes and stuff. Um, but that's kind of how it is so far. It's like Alan Wake's parts are kind of more puzzly, proper survival horror style stuff. And then Saga's are, are a little bit more open worldy and kind of typical third person action games. You know, the action adventure games almost. Like it's a little bit of a cool mix between the two. I like it. All right, let's go. In a fancy hotel. Exit the hotel. Exit the hotel. We shall. All right, there's no way with realities just yet. So let's get the hell out of here. Run, Alan! All right, we're out of here. Perfect. Where's Parliament Tower? Parliament Tower was here, again. Zane said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping. I had to get it before Scratch did. Okay. Dark place. This is where the janitor's bucket is, though. That's perfect. So I am going to switch reality back to Sag Anderson. We're going to do Old God next, all right? I feel like uh, we, now that we've completed room 665, it's uh, time to get back to Saga's story as well, because I was really interested in what was going to happen next there when we are going to Valhalla Nursing Home uh, to see Thor and Odin in their natural habitat. I want to learn more about the Finnish forefathers here and uh, learn more about what's going on with them and our connection to them, basically. Um, is is very interesting, the whole thing. All right, where are we going? Case board. Cases. We have some more stuff. Oh, the Anderson brothers, of course. Thor was about to tell me something. Well, we got to ask him about that then. Is Thor okay? Good question. That's a great question. All right. Where the hell is this place? Valhalla Nursing Home is up here. Okay. Pretty far away. But we're, we're on the march. We're not that far away, actually. All right. So we're going down this way. Up and around. To Valhalla we go. Oh fuck. Bro, chill. Come here, boy. Jesus Christ, they take some damage, huh? Should I go to Valhalla first or should I go to the Ranger cabin first? I guess I'll go to Valhalla first and see what's going on. And we can go to the Ranger cabin after. I imagine there's probably some good stuff at that ranger cap. Fucking Jesus, okay. Bitch, don't sneak up on me. Okay, I think that's all of them. Okay, good news. Here's Valhalla. Valhalla! Torin Odin claimed to be my family. 87. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. The less I knew about him, the better. Vote Mayor Setter to sit in office. Open sesame? Nope. All right, that ain't gonna open for us. Just having a look down around here to make sure that there's nothing we can't pick up. The hell of a view, I'll tell you that much from up here. Down onto the mountains and the bird with the sun coming in here. It's gorgeous. Tor, Odin, time we had a chat. But we don't know a lot about our family. Interestingly. This course is locked. Ring the doorbell. Old gods. Gating late for visitors, you know. I was just getting the... Oh! Saga? What's up? Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh, the, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry. They had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. 
I need an excuse. You're being to get suspect. To to them. That's too bad. Okay, if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um. Sure. They always love visitors. Come He's on being in. very weird. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. Right then. I love the architecture. I always dream of Wade. living in a haunted Victorian manor. <laughs> you say that I have his bloody thing. This is my first time here. What do you mean? Be my light in the darkness, Rose. Wow, she is really obsessed with Alan Wake, huh? This is creepy. You were my muse all along, Rose. Naughty Alan. Yeah, Rose is being creepy here, man. He's got a bloody shrine to Alan. Like that. Thank you very much. More of those kids' lunchboxes. An Alex Casey lunchbox in here? Cool. You are strong. You are successful. You are confident. Take the map too. Valhalla Nursing Home. A little gym here. For Thor and Odin. Where's that radio? Hello, Yako. Oh, yes. Like One of these. Perfect morning in paradise. I agree, Ilmo. <laughs> perfect morning for me to drink this coffee I'm holding. Oh, shit. This coffee is shit. <laughs> Yako, did you just drink a regular brand coffee? Oh, I did. My perfect morning is ruined. And all because of your shit coffee. <laughs> if only we could have good coffee. Hey, what? What's that sound? Coffee world, baby. <gasps> oh dear. Ilmo, look, it's the Bright Falls blended organic coffee from Old Deer Diner. Oh wow! I've heard that the health benefits of this coffee include increased energy, improved eyesight, better love making, and deeper connection to animals. <laughs> With a thermos full of hot coffee close at hand. You are always prepared for what comes next. How does it taste, Yako? Really good. He's going to say something like that. Mm. I feel like a million bucks. Thanks, old dear diner coffee. Bright Falls blend organic coffees brewed with hair. <laughs> oh, these are the worst, but also the best. Coffee beans that are sourced locally in Puerto Rico. Try it today. <laughs> locally in Puerto Rico. <laughs> Yet to try the delicious brunch special this month only for Deer Fest. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's funny. And we got more here. More ammo. Nice. Valhalla was established in 2014 by the Old Gods Foundation, originally built in 1965 by an unknown architect for the Finnish filmmaker Thomas Zane. This manor is steeped in ar artistic history. I was about to say archaic history. <laughs> I met Odin and Thor Anderson in 2012 in a strange trip that resulted in strange new friendships. I was honored to manage their band as they made their comeback touring the country and producing revolutionary new music. However, all good things must come to an end. Valhalla is a place of rest. In that spirit, I hope this building will serve as a place where people can spend their golden years in peace and comfort. May it be a home to those who need one. Welcome. Valhalla, Barry Wheeler. Okay, Barry Wheeler. Why do I recognize that name? Here are the goats. Old gods of Asgard. So Odin and Thor had a band and everything. Indeed, they did. The old guards of Asgard. I I'd lost Hello, Rose. You. Yeah, you did Here's lose me. I was, I was quite busy there. As I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes. <laughs> Norman, this is the guy we saw at the we uh I'm, I'm headed back to the, the sauna yeah Party to go. just another day in Valhalla <laughs> I should really get back to work saga but feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here it's good for them to have company all right we'll do it thank you it's Ati. in a here somewhere need to find them maybe I can ask Ati. Ati, you know Maybe we could ask the Auntie, ask the other two. Home. You don't need to keep cleaning. He's always cleaning, all right? This thing, man. Do either of you know where I could find Tor and Odin? 
Odin is sleeping upstairs. But your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Hmm. Something's wrong with him. Was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy, <laughs> you can't say stuff like that. <laughs> That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more cruel <laughs> remark from you, Norman. <laughs> oh, and Norman. The needle in your ear. You scumbag, Norman. <laughs> All right, we got some evidence there. We can put that on the plot board for sure. Why does it keep saying I have something new on the map? Like, what does that even mean? I've, I've found five of the six Cascala ads now, though, eh? All right, we got to find Tor upstairs. Right, so we got to go upstairs and find Odin. They have this for a wheelchair. It's out of order, though. Temporarily out of, out of order. So something, something weird is going on in this place, but I'm sure we'll figure it out in due course. The Twilight Years. Even Vikings need their rest. This whole Viking theme is so cool. I'm, I've been a big fan of, like, uh, Norse mythology and Vikings and all that for, uh, for a long time. So it's cool to see that it's in this game as well. I wasn't really expecting it. You are a handsome deer indeed. Oh, dear. Reload the goddamn gun. Oh, we can save up here. Cool. Can have a game of pool, potentially. Save the game while we're here as well. Rock around the rocking chair. The old folks home. Oh, there's something here. Some pills. Popping pills, baby. Hello. Oh, this is open. Is this where Odin is? Very old. I shouldn't the interrupt him. The bunker here during World War II to watch the ocean for Okay, we don't know. Navies we don't uh, interrupt him, but I can still check the place out behind him. It's been a hot spot. He's doing a podcast. <laughs> the Ocean View Motel and Spa, they call it. Ironically. So this is the same uh, motel from Control, right? Quicker? Electronic cigarettes. All right, I need a key for that. Okay. I have to steal it off Rose or something? So, the teens would drink. Not sure. Have a look around a little bit further. Oh, God. The hell happened? Or's room got absolutely messed up, huh? The old gods of Asgard. Moonshine. Of course. Was this a drunken rampage? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. All right, keep looking. We got in here. Donna, who's Donna? Excuse me, miss. But you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? My fault. I thought not. My Sorry. fault. <laughs> don't mind me. And now I have to start over. My bad, my bad. Honestly, that one's on me. All right, Donna. All right, anything in here? Oh, there's Odin. Shit. Odin's in bad shape. He was uh. drunk and watery. Or is oh, this, this something more serious? What does it say? The sea of night, to drink from the cup of the wise one from wisdom to be a seer. I gave up my eye in the light of the moon to shine and see. The many worlds to madness and beyond. Across the dark dreaming sea, the branching paths of the tree. I gave up my eye so many times. We have lived and died and been reborn. We have met here before and will keep on meeting still. Before time, I gave it to Mimir to drink from the well of wisdom, Mimir the goat. I took it out myself to see, drank the moonshine. He who stands on the threshold took it from me. The time will come again to be writ again. Right, Odin, you okay? 
Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> Odin Abison? Can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Trying to say saga. Whoa. He's in no shape to talk. All right, we can profile him, though. Of course we can. Because that's how Saga Anderson rocks. Is that me? That woman in the painting looks like Mom. The Anderson Farm, 1989. Right or is this more of the story? The dart through Tor there. That's some sort of sh foreshadowing. Have a look at the case board. Thor's bedroom has been trashed. Is Thor okay? We're not so sure. But let's profile Odin. Odin's in rough shape. Can't be just a hangover, surely. What no one has hangovers that bad, you know? These are our twilight years. There's not quite. darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? Oh, huh. the cult photo. I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy, but we'll drink with anyone who's offering. Fair enough. <laughs> the cult's been on our asses to join for years, but we already have our band. And those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. <laughs> Thor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Thor and Odin. I'm starting to see it too. All right, and what's our connection? I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. <laughs> Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Go help him. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. Sounds good. Ask about the clicker first. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It mm. washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world, but the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story, to save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. Okay, and Tor's in danger. You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor's marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him, and then take me. 
Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. All right. Stop this before more people get hurt. Let's go find Thor. Deduction available. Look for Tor in his room. He is in danger. Bad things happen in the wellness center. I don't think Tor Thor's okay, to be honest. Okay. Something is definitely going on here. All right. And this is what they know about the clicker. What Odin knows, at least. The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Not sure I have a choice. Hmm. Okay. We found a new nursery rhyme, didn't we? Wait, why does it say this was new? Oh, no, it was this one. That's what I meant to go into. <sighs> Mandy May. Would be the Bright Falls area, this one here. That's those two. Then we have the story. These are still for later. Because they're real badasses. They don't need to be a part of this shitty little cult, do they? Fact versus fiction. A painting of Mom and I with Odin and Tor. Let's put that down here. Okay. Let's look around for Thor some more. Let's look upstairs. There's Mandy May's room. Alright. This room looks pretty cool. I'm gonna steal her batteries and her ammo, though. She doesn't need to be having gun ammo at her age, does she? Ati, Ati's room, room three oh six. Getting in is forbidden. Oh Jesus! For your own safety. Time is long for those who wait. But Sorry, in Ati. The end, stand to thanks. Sheesh! <laughs> Didn't see you there. Yeah, my bad. Sorry, Ati. Norman? Who the hell's Norman? Oh, that's the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. I was the guy with uh, with no clothes on, pretty much. All right, nothing really in his room, is there? Note to self: hide the thing with a nice little riddle like this. Better than any actual lock. Riddle through the ages, over two hundred these teasers. Two hundred and fifty otter this world puns to help your conversations go swimmingly. There's some sort of puzzle with a. Riddle about an otter? I don't even know where that puzzle is in the first place, to be honest. Or where what he's talking about is hidden. I don't have the key. Okay. I need some sort of key. What do I do? The light bulb. Talk to the Andersons, find Tor, talk to Rose, okay. Hello. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear. Sorry? <gasps> you fucking bitch. She's one of them. There must be an overlap here somewhere. Christ above, man. Why do that? Why? Rose, it's time we had a chat. You silly little bitch. Tor's in the wellness center, isn't he? No, he's... Well, yes, but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm going to need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. It's just... There's some things that, uh... <sighs> yes, okay. I wanted to ask you, you some more questions, though. Thank you, Rose. Can I still talk to her a little more? You said I'd been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's useless. I need to stop the story. Mandy May and Norman said Tor is hurt. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? <sighs> it's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I need to check Tor's room. We did already. We did already. All right, time to go into the wellness center and have a conversation with someone down here. Oh, Athi. There's new choices with Athi now. Hello there. Saga Anderson. Hey, Pazine. Name won't make the man worse. Even a Swedish name. I'm Arti. <laughs> Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only Prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers. Old gods of Asgard. My pals. The, the goats. The Vikings. Berkele. Were you in the band? Minäkö? No, no. Perkele, saatana, en ollut en. Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach. But uh, we have shared a stage or two. Okay. Good to know. Time for us to go into the wellness center, I think, my friends. Well, I have two flares already, so I'll take this as well. All right, let's go into the wellness center, my friends. Watch out. For puddles. For puddles? You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. Right? Such a freak, man. You don't have the, the key for this, unfortunately. Okay. Maybe eventually we'll get that. I'm a little worried here. Gotta be honest with you, mate. You got the wellness center map. Is there anyone even here? Why does it look Dark. like there's nobody here? Empty. And Last of Us vibes here. Be ready, Saga. Yeah, no, I'm genuinely getting the Last of Us vibes. This is creepy as hell. Hello? Tor? It's Saga Anderson. Saga Anderson. Lady's British as hell. What does this say? Manuscript page. Shit, show me it. Oh, I didn't mean to go map. I meant to go manuscript page. There's a new one. Th Tor is bewitched. Tor Anderson had lightning in his veins. Oh, Lord. This was rock and roll, baby. That weaver girl had cast a spell on him. Tor would do anything she'd ask. Tor deserved this. Tor wanted this. Why? He wanted the song. A gift. He had to get it for her. Afterwards, it was too late. Tor swung his hammer in frustration. The spark was gone. Black liquid clogged his mind. A bad trip. Tor fought it. He was strong. He'd never be taken. But the darkness could still drown him. Tor needed to warn someone. It was all happening again. Tom was back. Coming back. Tom would need help too if he was going to make it. But the brothers were too old to stop at this time. Tor had called someone, someone who could help. The mm. name escaped him, drowned beneath dark water. Okay, the name. You're telling me you don't get Last of Us vibes from this, boys? All right, this is somewhere where we can go to, to be safe if we need it. Doc, Rose and me. Found Mr. Anderson knocked out on floor by phone, burns on hand and cut on head, was out so cold, brought him here. Been acting strange all week. Take good care. He is VIP. VB. Who's VB? He's hurt pretty bad, but he tore off his bandages. Why? Good question. All right, let's have a look. The Anderson brothers. The I wellness center. Help, but from what? Is he turning into a Taken? We're about to find out. Where is Thor? Thor becoming taken. Thor, why remove a bandage if bleeding? Okay. Behavior's been increasingly mm. volatile. Mm -hmm. Dark presence manipulating him, okay. Alright, let's find this son of a bitch. Hello? Thor? Oh. 
resident area. Tor? Tor, wait! It's me! Okay. We can do a deduction. Alright, let's go here so we're safe. <laughs> I don't know if that makes us safe, but we'll try it anyway. Thor left through the cafeteria door. Where is Thor? He left the wellness center. Oh, Jesus oh, come Christ. On. Of course. Of bloody course, huh? The door is locked electronically. Maybe it's controlled remotely. Need to find the controls. All right, let's find those goddamn controls. Dispensary down here. Anything worthwhile down here? The save point, okay. There's a door over here that we haven't been through. Ah. That opens that door for us now. Open sesame, your boy's here. My name's Saga Anderson. This is creepy, man. I don't like it. Usually the saga parts are less scary, but this time it seems like it's even potentially more scary. A security computer. Uh huh. There's got to be it, right? I'm just gonna use one of these so then I can pick up another one. <sighs> right. It's a password. Shit. Okay. Not a warrant, technically. But hey, desperate times. All right, I might be able to get the uh, password with a deduction here. What is this? A deduction, rather. Vladimir Blum, you've been accepted into the prestigious ranks of our most hallowed organization. As such, you will join our noble cause and be privy to our most guarded secrets. The ceremony will take place the day after the next new moon, as is tradi uh, tradition. The cult of the tree welcomes you. Yako and Ilmo Goskel. The Koskela brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. Hmm. Vladimir Bloom. And then, of course, the contents of the letter. Password protected security. Computer. The computer controlled the door that Tor went through. Could this be a part of the computer password? A day after the new moon. So I'm guessing that has something to do with it, right? We got more evidence here. My acceptance letter has arrived. I'm one of the gang now. Du Svidnyanya. Du Svidania. To the boring old Vlad. Hello to the new exciting man about town Vlad. I will buy vodka and herring to celebrate this month. Everything will change. That's 1508. He uses European formatting. Hmm. 1608. I had to take care of the dead raccoon over by the bunker. Smelled very bad. Not good for my hangover. Okay. So, part of the password could be the fact that he's using... Bloom was looking forward to something in August. 1508. I suppose this would be who's involved, right? Vladimir Bloom is involved. Confirmed cult member. Signed by the boys Ilmo and Yako Kotskela. Still one more piece of evidence for that. Alright then, what else? got to be more to the story here there's five things though it's not it wouldn't be 1608 or sorry there's six keys six it would be 1508 like 1508 is what i would have thought but there seems to be more to it than that oh wait there's something here there is something here may 5th full moon oh wait may 5th is the full moon May 12th is the third quarter. May 19th is the new moon. May 27th is the first quarter. Okay. August 8th, third quarter. August 16th, new moon. August 24th, first quarter. Coffee of the year. Okay, what did this thing say again? That's something about the moon, but let me just put it in here first. Some dates are circled. Calendar shows phases of the, the moon. So this said here... Ceremony will take place the day after the next new moon, as is tradition. After the next new moon. So he was excited in August, so the next mo new moon after August, potentially, is it? it was, his acceptance letter arrived 1508, and then potentially 
the next new moon after August 15th. Was this the new moon? 16th was new moon. 16th was new moon. So... But 17 is circle. Oh, the day after the new moon, of course. 17. So is it 1508.17 would be the date that we put in? 15... Oh, eight. Nope, didn't mean to do that one. Nope, didn't mean to do that one either. Fifty. Jesus, I'm pressing it, dude. How long you gotta wait? This thing is ancient. That's not it either. Fifteen oh eight seventeen. Really? Well, do we know what year it's in? Like, if we know what year it's in, that would be handy. Oh, it's 2023. I'm fucking stupid. It literally says August 23. 23. So yeah, it's gonna be the date of that overall then. Seventeen. Oh. A's 23. Okay. I'm stupid. I'm brain dead. Uh, that makes sense. And the doors are open. Okay. Doors are unlocked. What about CCTV and medical wing alarm? Should I turn those off? I'm a little doorknob that's out of place, but solve these clues and you can trace the way to your private space. I meet you at the greet inside a bright, classy cage where fa pretty flowers bloom. Oh, you bring it back so I can get my rifle. Why did you take the doorknob to my personal room? I am sick of old people tricks. If you don't, I will hunt you instead. Jesus. Please try harder to recruit them. I'm a little doorknob that's out of place, but solve these clues and you can trace the way to your private space. I meet you at the greet inside a bright glassy cage where pretty flowers bloom. Okay. There's Tor. Oh, shit. And he's out of his mind. Need to get to him. He's got the hammer in his hand and everything. Just smashing stuff up. Okay. Alright. I'd love to find that rifle, but I feel like we don't even have enough room for it anyway. I, I would take a rifle over a crossbow, though, I gotta be honest with you. The rehabilitation room is where we're going through, right? We'll keep... Shit. What in the fuck am I witnessing right now? I hate this. How many bullets are they going to take? Seriously. What in the world? They literally took about 54 bullets there. Fucking hell, like, what do you want me to do about it? Finally, Jesus Christ. How many bullets did Need they take? Yeah. No shit. Can't go out that way. Well, that wasn't scary at all. All right. Lost and found, mittens homemade, and notebook full of daily meal plans. Address inquiries to your friend Rose. I found a box of ammo for a hunting rifle in the cafeteria, Rose. I think you left some behind again. You really should be more careful. Careful. Take a tip from Vlad, a fellow weapon enthusiast. Always lock it up. Come collect it for me whenever you can. I bought that tea that you said you liked. I can make you a cup if you want. VB. All right. Got to find that rifle if possible. This must have been Thor's. It's Thor's hammer. <laughs> well, that silly bitch. Fuck off, man. Those jump scares are too much. Why does it sound like someone's drowning there and shouting Thor? Are you drowning someone, Thor? Come back! Thor, don't go! Rose, shit. Thor Anderson, you come out of here this minute. That water is bad for you. Thor, wait! <laughs> Cynthia Weaver, I know it's you. This kind of behavior is not okay! Let him go! He's gone. Damn. Jesus. Okay. 
Thor is gone. Oh, wait. Pretty flowers are blooming here. Any sort of cage around? Any sort of cage at all? It's got to be somewhere out here, right? wonder if we can unlock this from this side. I need bolt cutters. We'll need bolt cutters, okay. What the hell is this? Maybe there's bolt cutters down here. Oh my god, there's a dead body down here. What the fuck? Okay, I feel like I shouldn't be down here yet. Remember, buy more fuses, many more crappy old equipment, blowing them. VB. VB again, bro. Who is this VB, VB guy all the time? Manuscript page? Alright, let's check it out. Bowery struggles with the artist. to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back. And oh, on Wheeler. Wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wasn't that the guy with Alan Wake Wheeler in the first game? He paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. Hmm. Okay. All right, there's a little uh, save station. Let's save it, baby. Hi, girl. How you doing? Okay. I'm coming down soon, all right? Can't be opened on this side either. Great. Can anything at all be opened on this side? Another manuscript page? A lot of shit down here. Christ. Emmett Taken. Elwood had had enough. All his life he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip. Their nose picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, and touching things, touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watched day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He'd beat them down. Beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. <laughs> the ending of that part of the story. It sounds so stupid. Alright, we're... Hold on, batteries. Bro's spare fuse is now locked away because someone, Ati, keeps stealing them. Code is in the laundry room. BB. Oh shit. Is this something they watch on movie night? Potentially? House of Zane, renowned filmmaker, establishes artist commune in Bright Falls. Thomas Zane, born Thomas Seen in Finland, and his partner, Barbara Jagger, Born Baba Yakala in Finland have recently established an artist commune here in Bright Falls. Why is the music getting like that? Mr. Zane has purchased the old manor house outside the town and the couple has already settled in. In his home country and internationally as well, Mr. Zane is a well-known and respected author filmmaker, a rising star already compared to the likes of Stanley Kubrick and Inger Bergman. His earlier film, Nightless Night, won a number of European film awards. Mr. Zane is currently in the process of filming a feature entitled Tom the Poet. In conversation, Mr. Zane comes across a charismatic figure with big dreams. He talks about building a hotel and a film studio in the area. He even has a name picked out for the hotel, Ocean View Hotel. This reporter believes the name has a nice ring to it. Mr. Zane's dreams would certainly make Bright Falls a household name if they became reality. 
Members of the commune clearly feel the same, seeing Zane as a person worth revering, even to a faintly cult-like degree, a person who guides his flock to expand their consciousness and reach a higher state of artistic inspiration with the aid of magic mushrooms. While the Bright Falls record does not condone the use of illegal drugs, we hope Mr. Zane will help put our town on the artistic map. That he did. I said the code is in the laundry room for fuses, but I don't know where the laundry room is exactly. We'll figure it out, I'm sure. Another manuscript page. There's a lot of them down Cynthia here. Cynthia huh? Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Interesting. This is the laundry room for sure. Alright, can this open? That's a way back out if we need it. This whole experience has been weird, man, down here. Code is 273 Rose. If you see this, please remind the residents to leave my stuff alone. I think they hate me. 273. Alright. Let's check out his stuff. 273. Alright, what you got for me, pal? You got a fuse. Where do we use this fuse? Is the question. Could come in handy. Could. All right, let's get the hell out of here, I suppose. I don't know where... I didn't see anywhere to use the fuse in here yet. I could be wrong. There could potentially be somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Oh, no. That has two fuses already. Not necessary, then. Get the hell out of this place. It's creeping me out really badly. Let me out of here. I'm a celebrity. Unless this could use a fuse. Okay, let's go talk to Rose. Anything in here? All right, let's talk to Rose. What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Saga? I Tor saw it. Was resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Let's profile her and find out. Profile this bitch. Rose's lies. I watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Okay. Cynthia Weaver? Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Good question. Manuscript pages. CCT footage of Tor behaving erratically. And then we have the into the pond. Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? Good question. Well, Wake told Rose to look for the hero. He won't help anyone else. I am the hero. Rose. Um, Wake has returned. My God. You're the hero. You're here to save Alan. Oh, I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torngale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. <laughs> you look so buzzing. 
Rose's key fob. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key All to right. this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. Of course he will. Odin's the goat. Alright, there's a couple places where we can go now that we couldn't go before, I'm assuming, right? With Rose's key fob. I did just see someone down here as well. The page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? Question. Odin Anderson stirred in his bed, his vision hazy, smudged. He felt weighted down by an ocean of dark water. Through the haze, he made out Saga. Odin felt useless. He wished he could tell Saga how his silly faces made her smile when she was young. Too young to remember. Odin used to joke that Tor was her grandfather, but he was the all-father. He smiled at the memory. Odin was the kinder of the Anderson brothers. Tor lacked patience, more volatile. The brothers fought a lot, but they were inseparable. Now Tor was missing, dragged into darkness. Odin could feel it. Time was running out for both of them. It's interesting how Thor is um, Odin's brother in this, right? Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. Yeah, we heard this one already. The missing record in its place. Saga. All right, and then we can profile who? Odin. Profile him about the record. The missing record. Do you know where it is? Can't actually talk to him, I suppose. Driven by passion, raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Freya. Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you, even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. Hmm. Plausible, but then there's there's still instances of her coming back all the time and like talking to them and how they've seen her recently and all this, so it kind of doesn't it doesn't add up still. Fact versus fiction. Bring this in here. Odin, mom moved away. Or wanted to apologize but never got the chance. Why did she leave? Good question. I still can't get rid of this bloody map. Talk to Atti now again. On the third floor. See what he has to say. Might as well go say hello to him. Odin's trying to talk. Where's the museum now? Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. But I like his shoes. <laughs> How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's got all Finland He's stuff a crazy in here. Man, and he will show his ways. <laughs> Bloom like to talk. <laughs> Alright, thank you for the info, buddy. You go check on Odin, because he seems to be not doing so great down there by the sounds of things. Alright, he's okay. Where's the museum at? The old guard's museum is down here at the end of the hall. Which floor is that, actually? It is this floor, is it? Yes. I think so. Third floor, we can probably get into Gale's room now as well, and the other room's up top, though, so we should check those out at some point. But first, let's do this. 
Let's check out the old Gods of Asgard Museum. The Hall of Fame. The record is missing, is it? <gasps> Why is this bitch keep Thank doing that? Remorse. This is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. Crashed hotel rooms and ruined pools. Crowds go wild for the old Gods of Asgard Ragnarok tour. Of course, it's called Ragnarok tour, huh? Showering their stage with lacy unmentionables, black roses, and even full beer bottles. None of this faced the stars themselves who embraced the admiration and transition from song to song with such gusto that the audience was left catching their breath, eager to keep up with the brothers Anderson and their cohorts. Okay. Rock music is the ancient language of the soul, muses old guards of Asgard's lead singer. How's the reception been? Thor says, amazing. The fans understand what we're about. They get rock and roll. They get the spirit. They know we're not here to fuck around. That's fucking right. Why do you do what you do? I can tell you're new at this, buddy. Why does anyone do what they do? For the glory and the fame? For the money and the sex? Or because you have something inside you that is going to bur fucking burst out if you don't start using it? Using it. It's the latter, says Odin. Thor is getting so bored by this interview. <laughs> this is boring me to death, bro. Let's get moving. As they stand up to leave for the tour bus, waiting outside, the larger than life rockers turn around for one final quote. Music, especially rock and roll, is the ancient language of the soul, man. It's in me. It's godly, and it'll come out like a fucking thunderstorm. Of course, it's thunderstorm, huh? Old gods of Asgard's band member dead. Oh, wait, what? The legendary heavy rock band Old Gods of Asgard mourns the loss of their divinely talented guitarist, Bob Balder. Fat Bob, as he was affectionately and ironically called, died from complications of a severe illness. Living his band meets Odin and Thor Anderson behind. The peace-loving musician will be sorely missed also by the band's numerous fans. When asked about his loss, Thor Anderson had this to say. Get the fuck out of my face. Balder is in Valhalla now. He fought cancer like a hero. Bob was too beautiful of a soul for this world, said Odin. What this means for their band and their upcoming album remains to be seen. Find Anger's Remorse. All right, let's try to find it. We gotta talk, talk to Cynthia somewhere. I imagine she's downstairs. Or do we gonna ch check her room? Or right, we're gonna profile her. We're gonna profile her, okay. We're gonna profile Odin, too. Anger's remorse. Anger's remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor, bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it, to ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another, and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. We're not going to let that happen. We're going to save the war. Tor in the overlap. Anga's remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. All right, let's do it. Cynthia, tell me where the hell he is, you little bitch. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with the nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The dark presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Okay. Interesting. Where is Angus Remorse now? Giddy is a young girl in love. A broken roll pleads it. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An on of death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Angus Tell me! Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. An old folks care home. The bathroom? Ah, the bottom of the bath, yes. Of course. We had seen the, the body previously. Is in Cynthia's room. In her bathtub. 
in the in the hotel, right? Interesting. Okay, where's the bathroom? I'm guessing it's on the third floor somewhere. I Cynthia could be wrong. took the record and I brought it back. This is Cynthia's room here. Key fob's no good without power. No use crying in the dark place. What has been has gone. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. But look out. You can never know in which street the devil sits. The basement. Great. Thanks. That's where I just came from, damn it. So, yeah, I didn't need to go there yet, but... Alright. We're going back down there, I guess. I don't like how the power's out now. Don't like it at all. Alright, I'm out of here. Oh my god, where the fuck did you come from? Dude? Look how many times I had to shoot her. Like, that is crazy. Close that fucking door, Saga. You think they can still come down here when I have the door closed? Probably not, right? Shit. I hope not. I need to get the power back on. Yes, we do. I knew I came down here too early, but it's all right. Got the fuse already. We know what to do. Someone already got rid of this. There. Power's back on. Thank you. Find anger. Anger's remorse. We gotta search Cynthia's room now, right? Shit. Careful, Saga. Anything in here now? Didn't have the key fob before. All right, we're good. Anything else worth getting? I'm just gonna use this and pick up that then. Might as well get to full health, right? Why are you making those weird noises? What's going on here, Saga? What are you doing? <laughs> Sucker. Come on, what a dodge. Let's go. See you, losers. <laughs> Sometimes running's the best option, you know? I'm out of here. <laughs> what well, was too late? Okay. I hope it wasn't too late. I'm not talking about Logan, damn it. Alright, who's Gale again? Check out this room first. Manuscript pages? Now keep moving. Building the Valhalla Wheeler Nursing set up Home. A foundation with the sales of their greatest hits album. He used the cash to build a nursing facility. The old men deserved it. An old manor in Bright Falls. Wheeler hired a contractor to have it refitted as an old folks' care home. At this point, Wheeler felt good about himself. Of course he did. He had a heart of gold. No need to feel guilty. Wheeler left the work to the contractor and returned to New York City. He had done his part. It was time to turn over a new leaf. The contractors figured out Wheeler was gone for good. They took the money and ran. When the fall rains came, the leak started appearing. Okay. Anything else worth having in here? Nope. All right, Cynthia. Let me in. Stop doing that. We get it. A dam? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? Hmm, the dam? In the last game? The Dark Presence uses people's memories. Their fears to corrupt them. Tom's lamp is gone, the lamp with the angel on it. He always loved that lamp. It disappeared from my room. The darkness is here after all these years. It took Tom's lamp. I know it did. The lights are going out more and more. There's no one left to stop it. I can't do it on my own. Not anymore. I have nothing left of Tom now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need Tom's lamp back. 
I need Tom back. The shadows are moving. There is no more light, no more lamps. I can't find my way out of the room. Someone locked the door. Did I lock it? Maybe Tom did. He probably did it to keep me safe. He is such a considerate man. Barbara doesn't deserve him. Tom could do so much better. Where did Tom's lamp go? I used to have it. I guess he took it back. That's fine. It was his after all. The shadows are moving. Did I write that? Nonsense. There are no shadows. It's just us. Tom and I forever. I found something funny while I was down there. But it called him a filmmaker. Tom didn't make movies. He was a poet. A magnificent poet. I dug around and found film equipment supposedly also Tom's. What is happening? This isn't right. I know it isn't. Hello, girl. Jesus, you scared the fuck out of me, girl. You scared the bloody shit out of me. Cynthia and Thor here. That should be about them. Cynthia tried to drown the record in the bathtub. Okay. And this here as well. The record was in Cynthia's room. Pond. Bathtub. A lake. There's a theme here. All right, let's have a look. Thomas Zane. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Zane. We know him well. Tom was back. Tom had enemies. And a fancy old tale. Just his imagination. I just came from that. started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. Hmm. Maybe he was. It's interesting having done this right after the last chapter. Room 665, right? A power station. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. A lantern. A light. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Yeah. Did she know about the dark presence? I feel like I'm missing some context here. And then Thomas's wife's bloody I'm face scratched out. This photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. Somehow I'm guessing the same thing. For a very special Tom's woman. Romantic, huh? T. Unless it's Tom. No, it's probably Tom. It's probably T. Probably our boy Tor. Okay, looks like Tor fell for Cynthia pretty hard. Let's check out the bathtub, I suppose. They're gonna jump scare me right now. Anger's Remorse by Old Gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. Alright, let's go downstairs and play it in the jukebox. I knew that was coming. Stop doing that, guys. Okay, once in a while, but it's too frequent now, you know? What the hell is going on down here? Another one of these freaks, for fuck's sake. How did I not dodge that? Oh, sick! Reload the goddamn gun, please, for the love of shit. Did I kill her? Daughter, come on. It's weird how it changes back to a normal person after you kill them. That's so trippy the way that happens. I see someone outside here. Oh, Christ. That was weird, huh? Nice dodge. Nice dodge. Dodge and weave, baby. God damn it. Nice dodge. Come on, baby. Get wrecked. Is that everyone now? I bloody well hope so, son. I still want to get that rifle as well. We needed to find the doorknob, right? And the flower blooms. Is it? I don't know where that would be, but let's listen to this anyway. Anger's remorse. Take control. The song will show me the way. Look in the mirror. The cobweb of my soul. Of my face forever. Seeking 
to be driven by passion. The overlap is on like the I was enjoying the song though. Gone too soon. I was listening to the song. We can listen to it after, I suppose. Bright Falls Record. The local girl, Nora Hesberg, age 15, who went missing on Saturday of last week, was discovered dead in the sealed underground bunker near Valhalla Nursing Home in Bright Falls. The cause of death has been determined to be drowning. The incident occurred during a gathering of local youths at the bunker. Nora was first reported missing by her parents Sunday morning when they discovered their daughter had not returned home the night before. The police were contacted and they received a tip to check the bunker from one of the victim's acquaintances. Police are treating the tragedy as an accident. The community mourns the loss of its youngest member. Or of its young member, rather. That's quite sad. 15 years old. Ocean view. This isn't real. You were the drowned lady. Beware the drowned lady. Alright, so that's not the way, clearly. Or at least not yet. Down, down, down we go. No power. Can't use the switch. What was on their card? Bingo night! Supposed to be! No ammo for the shotgun now, damn it. We're running out of ammo. I need to get the power on to use the switch. Okay. Get that power on, girl. Let's go. Come on. One time, one time. Did that work? Gone too soon. All right, we can use the switch now, I think. Turn it to on, Saga. The wall just disappeared. The light did that? I guess so. The only way, destroy who? What did it say? Destroy what? Okay, maybe we can go this way now. It's a loop. Like the others. I need to reach the center. Okay. This one maybe isn't the circle? She's here. The stairs, haven't seen these before. No power again? Oh no, there is. Wait. I want to turn that back off because there was something right here beside me. Maybe it had some ammo and shit. Locked. The key has to be nearby. Okay. Should be a key nearby. Maybe we need to turn the, the thing on to find the key. Then turn it back off to insert the key. Alright. Hello. It's me, your girl, Saga Anderson. No, I need shotgun ammo. You get rid of something. I'll get rid of one of these arrows. This chapter is like much longer than the, any of the previous ones I've done, I feel like. Any key? Ah, there it is. The tool cabinet key. That should be the key we need to open this, right? And we got the bolt cutters now. Aha! That should be handy. I think that unlocks a whole load of new things. Right? Like, I think we'll be using this quite frequently now, the bolt cutters. It doesn't take up space in our inventory, surely. I don't think so. Can we get through this window? I doubt it. Alright, let's turn that off, because then the door appears here that we can use the bolt cutters on. Fuck me sideways with a little bitch. Get out of here, you fat numpty. Oh, how the fuck did I not dodge that? Okay. Look at her face. 
Put the hammer down, lady. Jesus Christ. Alright. All gravy in the navy, my little babies. Anything in here worth getting? They wouldn't have brought me in here otherwise, I suppose. What is that noise? I don't need to go that way, though, right? I'm going this way. I think. I hope. I'm out of here. See you later, guys. It's been real. Hello? Can I find a save station, for the love of God, please? I feel like I haven't saved the game in about two years. Gotta be one close by. That door? Tor! Am I gonna have to fight him? Changing the overlap. I'm trying to stop me. Saga! Where are you? Can you hear me? It's so dark! Oh, I'm sorry, kiddo. The rubber ducky. Trust me! You took four! I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Saga! It's so damn dark down here. I'm underwater! She's trapped me at the bottom. I don't think I'm gonna make it. You're gonna make it, pal. Don't worry, I got you. Make a run for it. Okay, where from here? Over there or over there? Left or right? Try right first, I guess. Yep. No shit. She's coming. I don't like this at all. Okay. We're fine. This is not the way, though. For an arrow. All that for an arrow. Let's heal up and then use that. All right. There must be a way to get the power back on. I can't stand the water. I know this. This seems like a long way to go. <sighs> Jesus. All right. This is terrifying, dude. Yep, we're fine. Everybody stay calm. They're leaving us a lot of health packs, aren't they? Like a concerning amount. Oh, I'm fucked. <gasps> we're fine. Shit. Where'd she go? We didn't go anywhere, it's fine. It's the generator. Come on. We made it. We made it, man. It's fine. I don't know why you guys are freaking out. Good girl, Lindy. I'm coming now. The dogs are hungry. Alright. Turned on the lights. I'm not leaving you here, Tor. Hold on. Alright, Thor. I'm gonna save you, pal. Okay, I'm gonna get the way out, alright? Bang. Defeat Cynthia. Oh god. Dark. I can't see a goddamn thing. Alright, I got you. Tell Odin. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. 
gonna get you out, man. I like them apples, Cynthia. Jesus, okay. How the fuck do I avoid that? What the fuck is happening? How do I win this fight? I can't switch anything. I can't use my guns. I can't do anything. I think it's glitched. Yeah, it was glitched. That's strange. That was that was like glitched for me. This is not how the story goes. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. It's not how the story goes, okay? God damn, dude. All right. That's probably where we're going to end the video, guys. Um, we'll be back to defeat Cynthia in the next part. Uh, hopefully, you guys will be here for that. Saved one minute ago, so we're fine there in terms of that. But really appreciate the support. Keep it coming. We'll be back with more Alan Wake 2 in the near future. It's been my pleasure to serve you. We'll be completing uh, Old Gods, the chapter, in the next video. I didn't expect this one to be so long, but damn, it's awesome so far. And I can't wait to continue the game. Thank you for being a part of this. And uh, I can't wait to continue the series for you guys. See you next time. Peace out.